here. So, you, you, you are among uh, a, a handful of people who have been studying and adopting and figuring it out and practicing or pioneering, whatever term we want to use, it, the meaning of Agile testing. So, what is your perspective of Agile testing today? So, um, first I think we can't really separate the testing part from the Agile part. Mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. One of my great frustrations when people talk about Agile is that it's too tempting to say, oh, Agile means we do whatever feels good, or we don't document anything, and we release frequently, and or often. Um, and they're missing some of what I think are the important disciplines that make Agile actually work. So I define Agile in terms of the results. So I look for organizations that are delivering frequently, but doing that at a sustainable pace. And when they deliver, they're delivering real value to their customers. So mm -hmm. deliver frequent delivery of value at a sustainable pace, which means mm -hmm. both taking care of the humans and taking care of the code base, mm -hmm. while adapting, adapting to the changing needs of the business. Mm -hmm. So I don't actually care if they're doing Kanban or Scrum or extreme programming, mm -hmm. if, or somehow manage to do that with Pixies and Magic Wishing Wands. If they're mm -hmm. getting those three things, they're, mm -hmm. they're doing Agile. When we talk about testing in that context, testing mm -hmm. in that context looks completely different from mm -hmm. like the testing that, say, I was doing back in 1997, mm -hmm. working with Silicon Valley companies that would go into stealth mode for a really long time, and mm -hmm. then eventually, like eight months later, they would release something. Right. If you're talking about releasing every two weeks, mm -hmm. testing necessarily looks different. So to me, agile testing are the practices that support those agile results. And that includes things like um, the developers are going to be doing at least fully automated unit tests, if not test-driven development, right. doing acceptance test-driven development, where we're beginning with the end in mind and getting those acceptance tests for each story, right. but not in a heavyweight requirements analysis, do all the requirements stuff up front, right. more in a very lightweight mm -hmm. and story-by-story -story basis throughout. Um, Test automation for the regression tests, because if we don't have fully automated regression suite, right. then it's impossible to keep up with the pace. Right. So those kinds of practices. 